Hello ladies and gents, how are you doing? Um, let me say this first. I want to have ample time to talk about this. I have lots of things to talk about today. Lots of things to read today. What is main? Main, main, where are you? There you are. I see you, bitch. Right, here we are. Right. April was a fool, ladies and gentlemen. You might recognize this if, if you've seen me along or if you're from the forums or something. You may recognize this art style. Um, this is Maki and Maki Okuta and Rachel's la latest game. Scarlet April was a fool and it's a dating sim with the girl dating the voice. So you can if if you know anything about me, you may know that I am completely fucking insane over this game and I was like yes, yes, I am going to be there so hard, you don't even. Um in fact I've fucking um pretty much I have finished stalking them like when is it coming out? When is it coming out? I must play it and today is it oh, whoops no. No, no, no. I don't wanna do that. Please go away, thing. Well, the thing doesn't want to go away. Fine. I'm trying to. You, you don't see it, but I'm trying to fucking put away the the green border. But fine, stay there like the nuisance you are. Really? Fine. Anyway, <clears throat> as far as I understand, this is a dating sim. Um, they kept me spoiler free. All I know is that the game was initially made as a as an April uh, as a first of April, April's Fool's Day joke game. But apparently, the game somehow eventually made it to a full release. This is a full game, and uh, that's it. I really don't know much about it. But it's a Maki and Rachel game, so I expect great things. There is absolutely no fucking way this is not going to blow my mind. That's Brian Trust, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, um, April was a fool. As far as I know, we are this girl and we can date all these dudes. And honestly, it's going to be kind of a problem because <laughs> they all look very delicious and I don't know where I'm going to start. Anyway, new game. Two years ago, six heroes were summoned to defeat the terrible Dark Overlord who was threatening the lands. Their adventure met with success, and the Overlord was banished from this world. Peace returned, and the heroes were lauded by the people. However, peace is never constant, and another evil force was rising to take control of the world. Through the presence... Wah! Through the press... <laughs> this is going to be a tough one, reading all the fucking time. Though the presence has only just begun its rampage, the king notices the potential these street holds, taking action immediately. Once again, the six heroes are carried upon to fight. This is their story. Ah, yeah, I also mentioned, um, the game was not rushed, but a few things are undone, like the backgrounds are sketches, and I think there's some busts in some places that are also, but other than that, the game should be done soon. If there's some obviously unfinished stuff in the backgrounds or stuff, it's on purpose. I didn't have time to push it out and still be for April. <clears throat> Whoa, what the fuck is all this? Uh, safe? Is it safe? Yes, it's safe. It's safe. The castle of his magic. Of his. Sorry, Majesty. <laughs> King the 14th. King. What? Who you read that? 14th? It's a well decorated piece with banners and candles and paintings. All 15 previous kings immortalized in marble statues stand outside the throne room. Their expressions are ones that demand respect, nothing at all like the current king. What, the current king is a fucking blob? But, I oh know, shit, what is that? Can I... This is the first time I've been inside the castle. I've always was talking. <laughs> I've always tried to picture it, but I could never have imagined something kid this grand. My gaze drifts into the finely woven tapestry blah, blah, blah. tapestries and stern faces of the statues toward the ceiling. It's so high, while reaching upwards to meet it. Stained glass windows sparkle in the afternoon sunlight along the top, casting the hallway in a light that's dazzling and rainbow in color. Because rainbow is a color, ladies and gents. <laughs> I 
have been standing here for a while now. Four other people stand close by who have been here for me with this entire time. We're waiting for the last member of our small group to finish this. Let me check one thing, please. What uh, options there? Speed. Fuck that. I ain't got time for a text crowd. Maki is saying, I carefully created this young tongue twister for Indra's accent. Yes, exactly. <laughs> a fourth, a fourth, <laughs> I'm out of practice too, I have to say. It will get better eventually. I'm going to crank all these videos until I'm done every fucking day, so yeah. I'm going to crank them all out. No excuses. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah. The other had explained to me earlier that he was the only one with high enough skill level in listening. <laughs> Their listening checks are all bullshit. The king is the only good one to hear the king's new moonblood words. I know, it's the king that's moonblood, okay. The wallet in the front pouch of my dress is an ever constant thought in my mind. That's why I'm here, that's why I'm still here. Even horse time spent standing here doing nothing was worth it for the amount of money they've given me. Fuck yeah. Normally I'd be at work right now, but today turned out different. Maybe I should explain. Yes, please. <laughs> Look at this little bitch. Ah! Blake. What are we going to do? Calm down, Blakey. We just need to stop freaking out and think rationally. Yo, Erwin, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Painted ass face. <laughs> hmm. I don't see any problem if just the five of us go. I, here we have my favorite character already. It's fucking Fox, give it to me. Ten out of ten! Sound design! Oh my fucking god, I am going to die! That's why I didn't ask you! <laughs> King Sumretal 6 of... King King is his fucking name, will you look at it? King Sumretal 6 of us and he's too senile to understand why only 5 of us showed up. <laughs> oh god, look at his... You can't see it but I'm mouling my fucking scream with my hands like, yes, give it to me! <laughs> It's a real pity what happened to April. I wish I could have been there. I never seen someone get torn asunder by a dragon before. Will have been a thriller of patch. So they don't care that this April is dead. No, they just they're just kind of sorry that they call him patch. It will have been interesting to patch me up. Well, fuck you, dude. I'm not doing your route just for that. For now, I'm going to do the fox roots first. The fox, not the guy. The fox. Stop, I don't want to think about that. Erwin! Hmm? Erwin, are you ever listening to us? If we got to finish up, figure out what we're... Look over there, at that girl. Yo, Erwin, it's not the time to swing your dick around, dude. Seriously, as much as I don't mean looking at chicks, it's really not the time for... Shit! That face. <laughs> that face! Oh my fucking god, that fox is the best thing! <laughs> it's April! Why do you look so scared, honey? Am I that ugly? Oh my god, did she just fucking flip around like a car? That was the best thing ever! You know, that's not possible! April's dead! I know, I... Sure does look like her, but I don't think anyone could have healed her from her body for a... Um, excuse me. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe. You're not going to make it to the end otherwise. Oh, could have healed her from her body, from how her body looked once that dragon was through with her. At least from what Blake told me, I bet that's the case. Of course, it's not April, you idiot. She's, however, she does bear an uncanny resemblance. Why are you grinning like that? You're making me uncomfortable. If we can be fooled by it, then his majesty the kill should fall for it, for it easily. Excuse me, my lady. You're calling me my lady. You want to tip your fedora at me too, dude? It's not my third day on the job, but I'm already used to responding to patrons calling out for my attention when they need service. I approach the tablet of the man, which is... How does she know he's a man? I, I honestly would think who's that that that's a chick. I mean, look at him. You androgynous bastard. 
Handsome, fuck that, I prefer beefier dudes, what is he, a toothpick? He's rather handsome and wearing clothes of high quality, but there's something behind that smile that's hard to trust. <laughs> Shut up, Rachel. You have to read this. He's coming. <laughs> Shut up in the peanut gallery, I can't read. Oh god, I, I can't. My mouth is running away on me, it's trying to smile out of my face. His companions in the tablet with him don't appear that reliable either. Ho oh, oh. ho, dis she's dissing you already. To, this, to his right is a woman clothed in colorful silks with an arm almost spread. Wow! <laughs> I can't! With an almost predatory sneer. And to his left is an intimidating hulk of a man. Fuck yeah! We're going to hit that so hard. It appears to be some sort of traveling priest robes. Maybe. Grave priest robes. Scoth lollies in space. Across the table are two younger looking boys dressed in armor. We're going to hit these two so hard, so hard, you don't even. Especially this one, look at him. There's three guys, three handsome men here, I see three. <laughs> this is the first one. Oh, I have to breathe, I can't. One wears leather and is smiling over there, openly, while the other is a light colored armor with an intricate discernment and a nervous disposition. One can wear such a thing. He's my spirit animal. Look at him. He's all chubby. I approve. More chubby heroes, please. Their outfits suggest they are powerful and are less wealthy. <laughs> Fuck. But I can't seem to shake the feeling that of awe and dread that first caught me when I came over. It's that fox. That fox has an aura that you don't see every day. Still, they are customers. I reach for my notepad and jot down their orders. My lady, my name is Fedora wearing Lucheback. Name is Erwin Gates. I almost dropped my notepad in shock. Oh, perhaps you've, you've heard of me. Yes, Erwin Gates, the richest man alive, mayor of Perk City, and hero of the, of the known world. Must be a very small world then. No, Foxy is a guy, fuck you. I will go lesbian for Foxy. Oh god, I can't. I, I'm laughing the default. This is what you do to me, you horrible woman. Making delightful games. Damn you. I can't. Oh god. Ah, oh, thank god there's no voice acting. I will have fucking died. <sighs> of course I've heard of him. Everyone's heard of him. He helped defeat the Dark Overlord ages ye oh, sorry, years ago. It's not that old. That will make the others on the tablet with him. Ah, yeah, we're the world-class heroes. World-class heroes? What are they doing in this fucking sketchy-ass fucking tavern, sketchy kid life, literally? Erwin grabs my hand, the action enough to make me already trembling fingers drop my pen and my rushing thoughts freeze. Dun dun dun. He presses his leg. Oh god, you fucking douchebag. Fedora wearing asshole, get off me. Either let the other guys at it or don't touch me. I'm doing you last, bitch. He presses the letter. There is a favor we must ask of you. Put away that notepad, my lady, for our favor requires to spend some time in your company. Look at that fucking knowing ass Mirkan look. Look at it. Oh my god. What in the world could people like them want with someone like me? We need you to pretend to be an old acquaintance of ours for a short romp in the castle. Fact of the matter is, you look just like our friend I, April before she was pulled into 20 pieces. She was what? <laughs> uh, do you sure you want to say this? <laughs> and her blood splattered all over the snow covered treasure of a dragon. Lovely. I definitely want to help you now. I recall it clutching my hand close to me. I knew fear must be gritting all over my face. They wouldn't th there weren't dragons in the castle though, right? It was the point of even telling me that. More importantly, why is he smiling? That is true, you fucking piece of shit! Why are you smiling? Evan Fox is like, what the fuck are these people doing? Just stop grinning like that, please. We don't even know each other that well yet, yeah, don't fucking seduce me like that. Rose, you've gone and scattered the poor lamp. <laughs> I read the scattered and I was like, fuck no, don't kill me yet, please. 
I know I'm gonna wanna pretend to be someone else after you can tell him how she died. Fine, April. Fine, April was a cool chick. I'd like her. What's with this sulky face, you bitch? You didn't make anything to say any better. I wanted to protest her swaying back and forth with my head. Like, fuck no! Guess you're right. Oh my fucking god. I made the chick first. What's with her fashion expression? She rocks. Marry me. I can say for sure you like her. You're not. Oh my god. Fucking. I can't. I fucking can't. The portraits alone are sending me into spasms of fucking smiling. Oh my fucking god. I am not going to make it out of this. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're not asking for much. We just need you to come and stand in the castle with us. And then it will be over. No dragons, no overlords, no bandits or ravens or wyverns or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking cute ass motherfucker. What is that? <laughs> Two of them are vastly more reassuring than the rest, still, yeah, we're aiming for these two. Okay, look, enough fitting around the bush with small talk. What's with- you fuck- ah, Idiot. With small talk. I can pay you handsomely if you do this favor. Like Ken say, all you need to do is stand in a castle. How many people can you say they were past to stand in a castle? Sure looks like you can- Sure looks like you need cash. What's with this noise, Smith, you piece of shit! He hands me back my wallet. Wait, what? You fucking, you thieving piece of shit! Besides, it would be fun. What was that? I can't. Every window's hardly talking anyway, so we can show you around the castle for a bit. And if you'd like that, I mean, it would be cool. Yeah. Oh my god, did he just pop up and down? Fucking Christ, stop being so cute. I will maul you, I swear. The castle is pretty neat, crossing my arms, I think it over. It's true th what they say, getting paid to stand in a castle will definitely be a simple thing to do. Wait a minute. Where do you need to go if it is... Where do you need to go... Blah, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Where do you need to go if it's only one of us going to speak with King? My, my, your intelligence is a bit higher than your appearance will have me expect. I will fucking kick you in the crotch so hard, a fedora will come out of your fucking throat. Oh my god, they suddenly all go, mmm, fuck. <laughs> King always kisses his arrows on the head before they leave for good luck. Says his lips were blessed by angels or some croc. Ew. <laughs> That's why there's got to be six of us. None of, not, uh, no, not, not, not one of us got the hair to tell King that April, that April died. Oh, I'll tell him for you all in great detail. <laughs> Fuck you, God! What's with that face? Oh my fucking God! Oh, I'm going to make it out, you guys. Send a fucking ambulance. That make the man cry, Rose. The last thing we need to have is sit through some senile geezer and the some senile geezer crying all over all over us. Well, now that you see what sort of predicament we're in, what's it going to be? He's holding my wallet away and waving it back and forth and making a bit show out of how empty it is. What a piece of shit! You just stand in a castle. I suppose that's really not so bad. Nothing, I agree to help. Yeah, it will be nice having six of us again. Blake reaches. Who's Blake again? This one. I close the tablet to grab my hands. His smell is refreshing and helps stave off my impending sense of doom and regret. More like impending sense of fucking doom. Yeah, even if it's just a little while, she can, she can come with us to save the world, Blake. Why not? I can kick things in the crotch like the best of them. I know. Oh my fucking god, stop moving up and down. I will maul you, I start to fucking god. Gabby gives the younger boy a rogue box on the head. Who's Gabby? Fuck it, this one. How the fuck did you, did you get out of over there, woman? That's some fucking long arms, arms you have. Head and let's go of my hands. What? what um, excuse me? Uh, I thought this was Gabby. Why is. Did she has. Um, she, she wasn't grabbing my. I thought this dude. This douchebag. Oh no, wait. This douchebag. Was he the one grabbing my hand? Oh my god, I got so lost. Well, anyway, magic. 
Unless you want to follow in Napoleon's full steps completely, hike up a mountain and be good at be a row upon row of drowned it. I thought I've got enough spells to keep you alive through the whole thing. Oh my fucking god, gun. I swear to god. <laughs> There's the doom soundtrack again. Doom, woman. You want doom. Maybe this was a bad idea. I heard another patron calling across from the room for service and started to make my way towards him. Although Blam, ignore Rose, the man's as morbid as a necromancer, but he's not a bad guy. My feet freeze and I slowly turn back to face them. They're all smiling at me, mustering up their best, most reassuring faces that they can. True. But damn. <laughs> These sides, reassuring faces are not exactly reassuring, I'm just saying. True, in most cases they're missing the mark, but the effort is appreciated. <laughs> oh my fucking god, don't be so cute. Oh. Maybe we're off to a bad start. I'm Kent, what's your name? Oh fuck yeah, May, no, fuck that. I am bitch face. Fuck yes. Bitch face, a bar, <laughs> a bar made which has started work a few days prior. Bleh. A few years prior, in hopes to raise enough money to attend classes at the Aero, Aero Academy in Perk. Oh my god, that disgusting ass face, I want to slap him so hard. Hero Academy, I remember my days there. I wonder, what's a dame such as yourself hoping to study there? Oh my, destruction magic, obviously. Wait. Is this a choice that gets me a guy? Oh fuck. Ah. Ah. Does the choice affect? Does the choice affect root? I must know. I must know. No? Okay, then I go for destruction magic. That's amazing, it suits you well, I think. Kent? Is this... Yeah, well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> Ken claps me on the back while he laughs with excitement. He's stronger than he looks. On he stops, I sheepishly rock my back. Well, I'm going for Kent anyway, so fuck that. Rock my back, hoping he doesn't notice. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. With the money you will earn from doing what's this little favor, you will easily be able to attend all the classes you need and then some. You could walk right in out of this shop and never have to worry about serving tab tables again. <coughs> right click, let's see. Oh, I see. Oh, I know. It, it wasn't Kent, it was Gaby. Oh well. This is me. Look at that bitch face. Let's see if it's in case. Should have saved before, but oh well. He hands me back my wallet. I take a quick peek inside, and just like you said, it's overflowing with cash. Oh my fucking god, already? But did you do peace in it? Did you piece gold, man? Oddly enough, the picture of my mother is missing. Strange, I wish I would have. Saw Bitch, he stole it! Fucking empty your pockets, you idiot! That was how I met the f five of the six legendary world class heroes who had saved the world once before and were hoping to save it again. <laughs> Look at that piece of shit that face! Oh my god! I swear to god, if I could rename this, the characters in this game, I would be so happy. I named this piece of shit. What does it say? Level 80. Traveling money, I know expensive cheeses. Yeah, you a cheese, you smell. The richest man in the world and rumored to be one of the smartest. He claims that his rolling stuff in the world is strictly confidential. Maybe he was their benefactor? I got this one badass. Specialist skill, da, mage. Only 75, what are you doing, woman? Burning things, fire smell of burning incompetence. Gabby Embers, a match a mage from Eastern Town, who has one who is wanted in several towns for us before she saved the world and was cleared of all charges. Badass. The fox! The fox is here! <laughs> well will. He only has one! Oh you poor baby! 
taming animals, peace. I, <laughs> I read cock and I was like, wow, we're going really fast there. Okay, cook it. Fighting. He likes fighting. Are you sure, honey? Ken Kenson, son of Kent. <laughs> My fucking god. A young boy from the northern town of Winter. Say that he landed the final log in the, pre the previous threat of the war. Maybe he only, it only had one HP left. What is the fuck is that? Sailor Moon ass fucking scepter. Group healing, concentration, heal plus. Drawings, singing, oh my fucking god. Charity work, con artists. Gun Rose, a brush man from Perk City. He likes to, to dress like a bad guy. <laughs> I will not say that dressing like a bad guy. I mean, the Furious Pink, kind of ruins it. Maybe like a 13 years old um, girls, you know concept of a bad guy but <laughs> the skills his skill as a healer can't be rival it also the others assure he's a good singer he is oh my fucking god he even has black nets oh my god <laughs> short cute bits oh god hero prophecy collects words sword food stories about heroes his own lack of skill Break embers that is younger brother his skill with his work were said to be second only to one april his confidence holds him back. My beautiful friends, I return once more. One kill skillfully comprehended and conversed with one mission ready to tell. It's about damn time. I think my feet were starting to root here. We took bit oh, sorry. And of course that was my mother coming in saying I was being way too fucking loud. Obviously. Oh, Got to relax. Let's see. We took bitch face around the castle a few times, so I don't think your feet were going to turn into trees, Gabby. No fun. Well, where did what did the old guy say? Oh God, I want to shout, but I can't. Must be quieter. Vocal cords are not made for this. Allow me to paraphrase. <clears throat> He clears his throat in a dramatic manner, hunching over a little bit in personal Bibli King. That was totally for the programmer to show off that they can move the portrait, isn't it? <laughs> My dearest Erwin, most beautiful man alive, I am so glad to lay say upon your flawless visage and more. You shameless piece of shit. I have only grave news for you, a fact that puts me in great sorrow. But your gorgeous eyes help to lift my spirit once more. Watch out, sounds like the king was. <laughs> Oh, oh, Maki, you know how to make me smile and laugh and happy. Oh, shit. This is maybe. Oh, my fucking hurt. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Doesn't everyone grab, my dear? I still as hell don't. <laughs> One exception to the rule. To everyone else, those are what? Not one of this. <laughs> Not one bit of this comes as paraphrasing, Erwin. Get on with this already. Before I got to do something drastic, like brew is those gorgeous eyes of yours. <laughs> yeah, be scared, you piece of shit. Then help me afterwards, I should hope. Yeah, so I can proceed to break your rolling mouth and then a little <laughs> Oh my fucking god, it's going to be a real struggle to decide who to fucking go for, I swear to god. Why does he have zero MP? Kent, why do you have zero MP? Why? Ah. <sighs> His grace has tasked us with finding and destroying the entity known as the Abbey as evil. I swear to fucking god, the naming in this game is flawless. Except Erwin, we should be calling Thrash. Before it cloaks the, the world in darkness. Who names their kid evil? What is just asking for this, you know? Maybe they're masochists? I think that's you, honey. Why are we going to defeat something like that? Well, we saved the world before. I don't see why we can't do it again. Could we have the April before? <laughs> <That's 
sil silence takes over the grand hallway, settling between the marble statues and lingering ar along the thick carpet. I look between them. It has their own face drawn tight, except him, this is fucking the Valda's face. Headphone low, eyes directed on the floor. Knees weak. What, what was it called? F spaghetti in the pocket. So what was the meaning song? I forget. Erwin's hands are balled so tightly his nails stick into his skin. Blake's le bleh, Blake looks ready to cry. He does? No, he doesn't. Don't lie to me. It's obvious. Whoever this up April was, she meant a great deal to them. I know I can't replace that, but I should at least say something to try and raise their spirits. Time to save, that's going to be a fucking option, I can't see it coming. Um. Oh, fuck. It's not an obvious choice. Hmm. Should I be a bastard? Okay, I'm going to go for Kent, for the first road. Just because the fox is with him. So what should I say? He looks like a morpha. Tough skinned bastard, so. Hmm. Hmm. Not the first one, that first one is cruel. The fi five of you are still heroes. Right, even with uh, April, I'm. We're still. Who's talking? This one. April. Okay, good. Sleep. Right, let's see if his infec infection went up. His affection went down. Affection went up. Affection went up. As long as he went up, it's fine. Okay, guys, let's focus on our mission. Where's the king? Say it is Evil Guy is. Erwin doesn't answer. Head still drooped downwards. Erwin, snap out of it. <laughs> With a dagger like jab, Gabby strikes Erwin's arm and brings him back to his senses. The Aguar yelp gets Blake's attention as well. He didn't know. It's a pain. Oh my fucking god, that's so cute! Give me the fox! Give me the fox! I want it so bad! Last time, his ears were up at Poinus on the right. Who's right the final boss? His ears have done their best. I keep trying to write the sneers and I'm like, what the fuck is a sneer? But they were unable to track down the exact cur current location of evil. Apparently its magic is rather powerful and its influence has spread out among many places, making it hard to pinpoint. However, they were able to locate a few places where it has been before. What do you mean by that? They found the town it originated from, a small and humble hamlet located in the outskirts of a forest called Hick Village. <laughs> oh. <coughs> A castle, Kid foolishly named, named it Castle Evil, yeah, <laughs> has been used as its dwelling over several times in the past. <laughs> Oops. Also, there's a small laboratory outside of Perk City that is being used to wield weapons of impressive power that it's believed to have connections with. Oh my fucking god, what happened to your face? You went quasi mother on me all of a sudden, please don't do that, it's scary. Come on, man, you're the mayor of Perk and you didn't notice some lab paint will run near your town? I noticed, I figured it might draw in some interesting new businesses. The expansion of a town is about more than just kicking out suspicious looking buildings the second they appear. You let them build the Navy lab? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck was that rhythmic ass tapping? Erwin starts tapping his foot relentlessly against the carpet floor. I don't I didn't know it was evil. Whatever yo, let's what are you? Let's not argue between each other. Especially over Erwin's morality. That's a topic that is all the sun. What's the mission? Normally I pre would side. We start to slip into another round of silence, but it seems pretty straightforward to me. We head to death peaks. Whoa whoa, why death peaks? Who we'll mentioned it death peaks? Death Pix is not in any options just now. Why are you trying to get us killed? You already know that's really Rose's mind. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That's no good. We can't do that. I don't want to die. I don't want to go there. It's what I got magic for, kid. It's cool. He puts the Blake sli lightly on the back. But from the look on Blake's face, good lightly is about as lightly as a horse stepping on your foot. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> 
Why are you making this really hard, Gone? Stop being like Cable, I want to go for Fox first. I'm only two years younger than you, I'm not a kid. Look, shouldn't we start by... Wow. <laughs> Let's head to Higgs Village and burn the ruddy place to the ground. Huh? What good is I going to do this? I've never heard of a megal... Me I've never heard of a megalomaniac who wants to take over the world, losing his home to his base of operations. What we should do is head to the Lafnesberg and burn it to the ground! Flames rip like a crowd of cabbies arms. Surprisingly, her robes don't burn up. So it should be not shocked. I shouldn't be that shocked. Most of Mage's fin armor sweet to their nips. The robes are the fin are likely five. Can you not do that? I will do what I want, Rose. We will not be setting up building near the magnificent city of Perk on fire gaps, my dear. What we will do is infiltrate the laboratory and steal whatever secret doomsday weapon Evil has hidden inside. His Why are you blushing, for fuck's sake? His voice is nervous, so it's a word coming out with careful plotted diction. From what I've learned of all time together, that seems unusual. Please, Ken, everyone knows that the oom is practically useless. What? I lost something there, what? Ah, uh, I missed his line, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Can we just take it up to the Utopia Makers? What is that? That's not true, just last month my bro, my dad bought the conflict, conflict, bleh, bro, sorry. The conflict of winter and summer to the um, and they solved it peacefully. We can do really great things. No, that and I go over there and have tea and cookies with the elders of summer pretty often. I bet Evil will enjoy tea and cookies too. I thought you liked milk and cookies, baby. Heck knows he will and can't get a grip on a, on a reality check. Not a listening check? My plan is best, burn down his hometown and he will be forced to come out a hiding for revenge. Then we punt him back to whatever hole he crawled out of. Gaps, he can crawl back to whatever hole he crawled out of if you literally burn the hole he crawled off, out of to the ground. Fuck this game and the tongue twisters in it! I'm talking about whatever he's hiding now, not his mother, you prick. Clamp your yappers and just admit it already, my plan is the best. Death Peaks, every final boss hits at Death Peaks. Our lord wasn't at Death Peaks. We have Castle Carl at Castle Evil. Why is no one suggesting we go there? That's their face. Oh my god, he's actually angry. angry. They named it after himself and it's a castle. Why did your hands with fighting if all we have to do is get into a lab and steal everything it was going to lose to use to use to take over the world? No offense, Erwin, I don't really want to have you having that stuff either. Oh my fucking god, that fear. They will donate it to the king and city of a castle and city of castle, naturally. Then you'd hawk it back to your own little collection. Now nah, we ain't putting that stuff anywhere near you. You shame my good name, my dear Gabriel. It's Gab, or it's Gab, or it's your head in the frying pan. <laughs> yeah, be afraid, you piece of shit. If April were here, she would have us already at the door and on our way. April would have wanted us to take a peaceful route. Let's go to the human ass to politically request Evil not to take over the world. April got it to be a dragon because she wanted to steal all of its gold. I think we're giving her charity too much credit. Oh my fucking god, gun. You're a bastard, but I like you. <laughs> as much as she was a magnificent woman, Gan, she was exactly that she wanted to do. And then she was going to donate that money to the poor. What? No, she wanted to fight the dragon because... April wanted, would want us to go to the arm. Oh my god, this is a fight amongst children. How many days... <clears throat> Yo, how many times did you suggest to April that we go to the womb over the last two years we've been together? Um, I think 15 different times? <laughs> My fucking that face. <laughs> and how many times did we go to the womb? Once. Let's go down, Higgs Village! <laughs> Here's an idea, why don't we let the lady decide? They look at me, but for the first time they started bickering. Five sets of A's. A's of heroes. I suppose that's some pretty daunting, but they're all idiots. I'm happy you noticed, darling. I agree with Erwin. Me too, we should help us pick, bitch face. 
one last thing while you stay in for April. I of course I'll also agree with Erwin. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up, Erwin. <laughs> so why not? You seem like a well enough girl to live in charge of her fate. Shut it, babe, what's the Oh my god, are you going to call me babe? I'm not prepared for this level of closeness yet. <laughs> what's the answer? Right, I'm going to assume agreeing with this bitch is the best way for now. Go to the home. This is the best weapon. Yippee! Seriously? Ugh. You said it. Let's decide then. Wait, let me check their affection. 10, 10, 10, 10, 20. Yay! Stop with the male lady, I swear to fucking god. I suppose we will be off, my lady, you have our deepest gratitude. If not for you, we'd still be consoling his majesty as after informed, informing him of April's death. Or at least with or at least screaming the sound of her spine popping apart. Pop 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 pop. Oh my fucking god, gun. I swear to god, you are next. Don't you worry, I'm going for this one and then you are next. Stop it! That's enough. Yeah, sorry. This enthusiasm burns on quickly, I can say I'm not grateful for that. It was truly really a pleasure to meet you. He takes my Oh god, keep your hands to yourself, you piece of shit. Kissing the back of my the back once more. His eyes meet man as his hand rises. Behind those eyes is something very sad. He covers it quickly with a smile and stands straight once more. He turns to leave. Can't he what oh, stop stop, I'm not reading yet! Ken hits my arm playfully, which stings a surprising amount, and gives me a small wave as he walks past. Break his neck, so she pisses his smile and a clumsy shake of his hand later, and he's leaving too. Give me a heart, you piece of shit! Gun and Gabi both follow sweet, small gestures of farewell, making the last interaction I could have with them. You don't want it to end here? Clenching my hands nervously, I call out, they stop and turn slowly. Once again, they is a Really? You're going to go with them, you masochistic ass bitch! What is it, my lady? We're kind of in a hurry, got a world save and all. I'm not sure why, but I want to go with them. Masochist, exactly. I want to be a hero too. I can explain my desires to them, ignoring the shocked look in the face. But you haven't even gone to school yet. How can you be a hero? Bitch, I dropped out. Psh, I never went to school either. And I, it I am that. Ken's right and so. Don't really look like hero material yet. Doesn't really like, doesn't really look like hero material, huh? I'm sorry, Miss Beast Face, but it's too dangerous where we're going. Tiny time, evil could send creatures of darkness to the bowers. The bower? Never mean that. Creatures of darkness do far worse than that. The, oh my fucking god, god, stop! Oh my god! Oh, oh. They crawl their way into your mind and force you to witness your worst fears over and over and you are driven mad with regret and fear until you're nothing more than an empty shell of your true self. Fuck saves. <laughs> well, we should look for a new hobby, how your baking is keep nice. It's not let make light of, of my lady's request. Tell me, how do you plan to keep up with us? Hmm. Right, what is time at 10? 20. Yep, and up. None of them say anything else, but Erwin offers me his hand. I take it and he pulls me forward to stand be besides the rest of them. Resting his grip, he packs my back lightly, and the group starts walking once again. I hesitate at first, but soon match their steps. And that's how I got myself killed. I'm not sure what made them accept me, but I'm glad. I'm going to be a hero. Wait, we forgot. <laughs> Excuse me, what? We forgot to get a royal good luck kiss. Everyone groans slowly. <laughs> and we turn back, entering the king's throne room for a blessed Albatus lovely old man kisses. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at his at her fucking face! Look at it! Hold on! Wait. Look at this! Oh! Oh! You. <laughs> Just keep thinking about the money, it will be all over soon. The area outside of Castle City is mostly used for farm. Open and flat lands that stretches around, out around us and on either side of the dirt path we're walking along. 
A couple of times we face a caravan bringing freshly har harvested goods into the city for sale. It reminds me fondly of my parent at home. In order, to in order to work in the city, I had to move away from my family. I miss them, yet they're both proud to hear that I'm of what I'm doing now. If we get further from the city, the number of trees along the side of the road will start to increase, and with the small buildings of farms in the area, yeah, the road stop getting lost in how homesick I feel. Beach face, beach face. At the sound of my name being called, I, I turn to see Ken running towards me. He looks very excited about something. Thanks again for backing me up there. These people will never pick the feasible option. They're all well. Bad, they're just look, jumping ahead first into adventure. He, oh my god, so cute! <laughs> he louts when my head he louts. Oh my fucking god! He laughs when my head tilts to one side. It's perplexing, isn't it? Ken's an adventurer too. Why didn't he want to avoid doing combat with evil? Ah, uh -huh, yes, I like adventure too, but when it comes on to things like this, peace is always the best option. We don't have to solve things by running in with our weapons round shooting like a couple of barbarians. <coughs> Kent, honey, pretty sure you are a barbarian. My father Kent always said the better wars are going to be brandishing the flag of peace. <laughs> Why is cracking as fox too? That is a nice policy. Looking at Kent's attire, I suspect he comes from the north. The inhabitants of that snow filling land were rumored to be a crass bunch, but I guess Kent's village must be different. Just recently, we brought the east of the summer village to the home, and they solved it all nice and simply. See, summer village kept stealing our crops in retaliation to the stealing the oh, oh. <laughs> Are we going then? Okay! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Wow! <laughs> Summer villages kept stealing our crops in retaliation to stealing their daughters. Not very nice. That got it all sorted off, though. The home to took away Summer's right to have weapons. Everything's a lot more peaceful now. Um, before I could raise a question, Erwin drags me away from Ken. Hey, we're talking! There's just some things I want to discuss with Peach Face. Don't mind me, I will bring her right back. The world is so to get his in my ear, into my ear. Look, I know the stuff he's saying is pretty messed up. Truth be told, he's that storming the woman threatening to attempt to fix the problem. But Ken doesn't know that. And he is going to find that out. Got it? He's that threatening the woman? It wasn't just something Ken needed to know. If some government can regulate that sort of stuff. The thing is that threatening the government with the woman has. Yo, time to stop all that yapping in the back line with one monster. Ah, why something annoying like this? I thought. Th Whoa, what, what happened? What was that? Before she could finish that sentence, a streak ran past us all. There was a terrible sound of metal meeting beer flesh, slicing sound, bones crashing, a wailing scream, well and furious. What was. Was this lying written begun or what? Oh my fucking god. Yep, I knew I was right to choose you, honey. We're going to get along well. Ah, how nice to see you restart to show his abilities to the young miss so early into the journey. What you're looking at don't know is the true face of Kent Kenson, son of Kent, a powerful warrior dorset in the bloods of and force of his enemies. I could only tremble, the form that stood before me was nothing like the boy that was stalking Mere mere moments ago, Kent's smile was charming and his eyes were filled with nothing but keenness and joy. This... Uh, <laughs> a hole? Okay. With nothing else to hit, his axe falls down into the body of the beard once more, grinding the curse into smaller pieces. I have to cover my eyes. You bitch! Just look! Here's your, here's your food to have it. Don't worry. It will be over soon, he just needs to ride it out. Ride what out? Gun's strong hand lines on my shoulder to try and reassure me. I stumble backwards a bit and reach out to grab something. The first thing in my hand that fins my hand is Erwin's sleeve. Oh, don't worry, he never hurt us. It's all very convenient. We'll calm down convenient. We'll calm down momentarily. Oh, what happened to the beard? That doesn't look like something Gabby will do. 
That's right, I have way more class than that. Erwin moves away from the side, brushing my hand away. Pulls Kent away from the body that he was still standing over. He drops an arm over the young boy's shoulder and shoots a glare of Cap. He's got a bit more carreta away than those, alright, Caps, my dear? Wait, whoops. Oh, alright. That's Gabby for you, she's always on top of things. Sorry, Mrs. Detala, I guess I spaced out away again. It's cool, I got plenty more fire when that come from. <laughs> Excuse me. To demonstrate, she lets a wave of fire rush from her fingertips and up her arms. Like, are you okay? You look a bit pale. <laughs> Terrified ass face. Everyone looks at Blake when he's cut out its true sword is clinging it's clinging to his white stopped face and he says seem more nervous than usual somehow. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm fine. That's good. I can never get used to that. Erwin quickly shots me a mouth um, and mouth the words, don't tell him anything. I start back, still dumbfounded by the entire turn of events. Why shouldn't we tell Ken what really happened? As an outsider, I suppose I'm not meant to understand. Right, safe. So, mm, so um, I guess yes. Let me see. I'm at 30. Agrians, is that a word? Oh, okay. No change. You know, it's back. That's a smart move. No point in getting on Erwin's bad side. Still, is it really right? Gabby's hand just makes Blake upside the head thoroughly. Don't get on with this topic again. You're probably wondering what he doesn't want you telling him, right? I nod my head slowly. My attention is mostly focused on Ken and Erwin talking back and forth with each other. From their body language, they act like they are rather close, so why won't Erwin be honest with Ken? Erwin says it's useful having Ken around like that. He's afraid if he finds out the truth, he will stop. Ken's not, not about fighting. This is not about fighting normally. So he's abusing him, basically. Piece of shit. Gah, slimy wretch. But I really tend to say about your best friend. Whatever, I've never liked it. There wins got a point, right? Sting of when we fought the demon lord. When Ken's berserk moves, blah, blah, blah. Ken's berserker moves, save it use back then. There's only a few times beside that too. It is useful. He'd hate it. Ken doesn't like to hurt other people. Are you fucking crying, honey? Don't cry. It's just a bird! Besides, the the breaks. You play with Erwin Gates, he's go you're going to have to get used to the things you don't like. I mean, look, he's got you traveling with me, don't he? She gives her younger brother a quick punch to the arm and he only grumbles in response. His sore expression is deepening further. Haha, <laughs> right. Well, Ken, I will let you get back to hitting on the new girl. Why? That's not... <laughs> Erwin shoves Gates toward me and with a small wave takes off ahead of the rest of us. Ken brushes for a moment before gaining his composure. Alright, we were discussing my dad, weren't we? Mm, there's not much more to say about him. Hey, have you, have you ever been to the north before? I shake my head, traveling wasn't something I, I had the luxury of affording. That's too bad, I bet you like it. Just like that, he's back to his usual self. He begins chatting enthusiastically about his hometown, painting pictures in my head of snow covered mountains and white skies, frozen lakes, and caverns of crystal. I had seen some paintings in books before, input the vivid imagery in Ken's words for me made the expanses of the north seem more romantic and wonderful. But not any less cold. Either way, the descriptions are enough to replace the sight of Ken's axes twisting into the back of the dead beard from my eyelids. We continue across the open plains until we reach the inn along the rock. Everyone agrees that we need to rest here for the night. Apparently, it's their tradition to rest at the inn before all of their adventures, whether it's in the direction they need to go or not. That seems like a strange tradition to me, but I want to stop on their I want to step on their routine. <laughs> the inn has a very cozy feeling to it: wooden walls, wooden tables, wooden dishes. A large man with a strong mustache is sitting in the counter, and he smiles warmly at us. I do my best to smile back the same, but it's hard to win. He likely thinks I'm someone I'm not. My good keep five rooms, the penthouse suite for myself as usual. 
the keep gives us the keys to our room. Gabby and Blake share one room between the two of them. Wouldn't it make more sense to give them a pen suite? Still, I had I had said I wouldn't step on their routine. The wind doesn't seem likely to give it up anyway. Okay, the deal is we meet downstairs at the crack of dawn. No, what's the time from the start? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna have to forgive me if I catch a little extra beauty sleep. I have to keep this face looking bright and charming of the time. <laughs> I would have expected that from Erwin, but not from you, Gun. Seriously? Nah, crack of dawn sounds fine. Erwin and Blake note as well. But Good, then let's all get some rest and get ready for the real journey. We'll bid each other good night and head to off to our respective rooms. My first adventure! I'm getting excited. The room I've been assigned is just a cause It's just as cozy as the main entrance. There's a tiny fireplace at one end, it's lit and the crackling noise and smell of burning wood is relaxing. The bed is warm and there's a small tablet with some fresh bread and cured meat on top of on top of there, where's the coma, please? And cooled meat on top of that as a delicious smell to mingle with the fire. I'm running out of saliva to talk. <laughs> There's a set of pajamas spread out on the bed that look soft and inviting. I wrestle and I wrestle myself into them. They're a bit small, but they will do since I wasn't given any time with to get any of my real clothes. I set the bar my dress on a chair and leave it there near the fireplace so it will be warm when I put it on the next morning. It would have been nice to have had time to wear something on top of well, my uniform, but oh well. As I nestle myself under the covers and get ready to drift over the Zagnota and my door. Fuck yeah, night visit! It's Bochica, whoa, whoa. Not thinking, I asked them to come in. I'm shocked to see Ken standing in the doorway, face down time, drown his tight and his own cast. This expression is out of place on his face. Look at the fox, he's like, are you okay, master? And if I come in? Fuck yeah, come in. You can come in in me any day. But are we are 13, something wrong? Um, yeah. What about drink? That sounds pretty lame coming from a warrior, doesn't it? I shake my head quickly. Everyone has bad dreams. Sitting up by Mon, I mentioned for him to come sit on the edge of the bed. He seems unsure, but eventually moves across the room. Oh my fucking god, what's that? <laughs> oh, oh. I had a dream about the arm, but I wasn't there with all of you. I was there with that. He was talking, and the arm was agreeing, and then suddenly I was killing all of them. Every last one of them. I was ripping them apart with my axe, tearing them to shreds. <laughs> Holy fuck, man, you're pretty scary. As he speaks, his voice starts to shake. His hands rise to his head. Uh, wow, that was a sudden change of pace. I shouldn't be dumping this all on you. You choose a bar mate, right? I'm sorry, I will go. He tries to stand, but I grab his arm and pull him back. Yeah, come into my arms, baby. He sends back down onto the, onto the bed. There's there's nothing wrong with me, is there? He looks at me straight in the eyes. His face is contorted with a confused fear. I don't know what to say, so instead I disagree weakly. There's nothing wrong. I always have dreams like that. Even when I'm awake, I will space out and it feels like I'm drowning in a, in a sea of red. It scares me. Oh my fucking god, that is so cute! Oh my god, that is so cute! <laughs> oh my god, look at this shit! Oh for fuck's sakes, I am, I am already molesting. Fuck yeah, bitch face, you go! Already hunting that bitch, yeah, no, push him down. Put the foxes are right there. Threesome. <laughs> I'm not sure one compels me, but I reach out and grab my arms around him, pressing my forehead onto his back. That's his cheek, honey. Upon contact, I feel the strength of his muscles as they heave up and down in his irregular blades. Fuck yeah, he's poof too! I, I'm glad to see that. No strip! I can't find the courage to tell him now, but I know I will have to tell him eventually. The others are either scared or go of going against Derwin's word or too trusting of him. It's not, I'm not either of those things. What reason do I have to fear or trust him? I don't know why he came to you about this, but I'm glad at it. I'm feeling a lot better now, thank you. Aren't you going to blush or be cute about the fact that I'm fucking hugging you, you piece of shit? Come on, molest me a bit. He lies down, be careful not to slide my arms away. Is it okay? Oh, whoa! Chica, chica, whoa, whoa! Is it okay if I stay here for the night? 
There is no reason to confuse him. He relaxes when I agree and the stress in his back loosening. I feel safe like this. I think I will have better dreams. Good night. After I say my good night, the room falls silent. Following that silence is realization. This is not exactly how I was expected to spend my first night of this adventure. I want to roll over the other way, but at the same time, I don't want to let go of him. What? Fuck shit. Ah, it's awkward, but eventually I managed to fall asleep. They saw, what, excuse me, did not one of them comment on the fact that I slept with one of them? You disappoint me, game. I would have wanted at least some rice day bros and shit. Wait. Wait. I'm pretty sure I know this soundtrack. Hmm. I know, but I don't know what it's from. Anyway. Days have passed since we stayed at the inn. In those days, we covered <gasps> we covered a lot of ground and slept on, slept on a lot of uncomfortable things. Whether it was day or night, attacks were frequent. On the path of the forest, we encountered many brigands hoping to make a quick goal with robbing us. They were dispatched quickly with big Ken's berserk more, watching him take out other humans who more than it had when he attacked the bird. Wow. I want to tell him the truth so bad, but this time I came close, I could feel an with ends out the back of my head. It's time I feel myself suddenly afraid of falling back into line with everyone's little boy. Little boy. Sorry. I think it's I think it's their one. Ugh. I don't think it's Erwin I'm afraid of, though. More than that, it's Kent. How will he react if, if he learns the truth? Following the truth's trend, the group's trend is not more than an excuse. The forest we know is very dense. The trees were looked upwards, and their branches and leaves form a thick and interwoven canopy above. The ground underneath is a thick layer of wet mud and plants that give off an unpleasant smell of mold and fungus. It's a thick smell that sticks even to the back of my throat. Ew. There is no sound of birds or animals in the distance, just a stagnant silence that makes my skin crawl and my hair, my hair prick upwards. Even the world class heroes themselves seem to be jarred by, atmos by the atmosphere, I for one. Are you afraid? Don't worry, with everyone here you will be safe for sure. Gabby has her magic and I will keep it safe. Blake too, he doesn't look like much but he has the heart of a real hero, right Blake? I'm not so sure about that. Can hit Blake on the back. It's true, don't be so shy about it. Didn't you tell me once that there's a prophecy in your family about you? Yeah, but I think it's just fake. I'm no hero. Hmm, I see, that's too bad. A loud room that resonates across the forest. It's the first song we've heard outside of herself in a couple of hours. Everyone reacts immediately. Gabby light thinking arrows and blades, Blake fumbling for his sword, and Ken reaching cautiously for one of his axes. It's about time, sounds like the real deal too. Maybe whatever is in this will actually get you was gonna get on my fucking god gun. <laughs> Very bored? Oh can it you look? Stop getting all hot and bothered thinking both is dying. Think about you guys coming back to life, but okay. Oh my fucking god! Oh what is that? What is that? It's just a kid! Can I pet it? Can I pet it? Can I date the, the, the what is it? A zombie dragon? I don't fucking care, I want it! So cute! Can I pet it, please? Come on, pet the dragon! Please! <laughs> I beg of you! The room returns into a roll and a small dragon bursts out of in the thick foliage. It's mouth filled with rows of teeth and its tail is stacking trees down with its every moment. Oh, every moment. The air is, <laughs> the air is vibrating with energy as the group braces themselves. It's quick against the steel and ice. Gaps, my dear, maybe you should put away your fire. Shitty dragons. <laughs> no, it's not shitty, Gabby, don't be mean. He's so cute. <laughs> She's like, yeah, fuck you. Her flames flicker away and she begins to chant a different spell, but... Oh, oh. Argu, I'm not fucking vocalizing that. <laughs> Even the fox is going out berserk. Ken's faster, his scream is enough to curl my blood. This hitter's faster as possible. This bullet of both his axes is in one graceful movement and it spins them wildly. With this, he does. 
see that flip with this, he dodges the dragon's snapping jaw, slides up, slides under the tail and leaps up where both his blades are through both. He only has one in his hand, don't lie to me game. Look at his all oh my fucking god, what is that? What is that? Foxy, what happened to you? Oh god, this is so scary. <laughs> when did I enter a horror game? <laughs> Both of his blades are brought down deep into the beast's back. Scales break and the creature whines slowly. Giving the dragon no time. What is that noise, please? <laughs> Giving the dragon no time to recover, Ken sweeps his axes towards the head. He takes his heels roughly into its flank and propels forward, using the moment to force his axes deeper and deeper into the thick scales around the dragon's neck. <laughs> he didn't behead it, he flattened it, I saw it! With one more checking movement, he beheads the creature. Oh my fucking god, that face. <laughs> Foxy, you're scaring me! <laughs> head hits the damp ground first in the stillness of the dark woods. It's easy to hear the sound it makes the dragon's body falls next crashing against the group with a loud and wet thud. Blood spreads out from under the corpse, mingling with the moss and alkyai lying below. Amazing! I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure I will call that heroic, darling. What a show of. Can I stand still for a moment? Ace glass over. Slowly he talks down. The wild and feral expression on his face gives way to a grotesque shock. What? <laughs> Whoa, nice work, Black. You did a fine job here. Erwin smacks Black on the back. The boy seems confused for only a short moment before letting out a nervous laugh. Oh, oh thank you. Kent storms backwards, stumbling over the dragon's thick tail. Black didn't do this. Black couldn't do this. This sport didn't do this. It wasn't magic. Tell me. What really happened? I told you already. Black did a great job for once. Even if he did do a great job, you'd never praise him. It's not possible. Black didn't do this. Erwin seems ready to say more, but his words, his words stop when I punch him roughly. This, oh, <laughs> I punch him. Please do it again. <laughs> Please do it again! Yes, do it again! Oh! Yes! More! Oh, this is the best thing ever! I will stay here for hours! Yeah, fuck! Fuck you, Erwin! <sighs> anyway, moving on! Oh! This is it, it's time to tell Ken the truth. It will hurt his feelings, but he needs to know. It isn't right to keep him in the dark about himself. I step forward, open my mouth and... Arms grab me from behind, spin me, and before it lips are... What? Excuse me! Are you fucking kidding me? I will kill you! I will fucking kill you! I will stab you so hard! Adams grab me from behind, spin me, and before I can stop it, like that pressing against me. I'm so glad you saved this fist. I will punch you. He kisses me again, and I try to break him off. He's stronger than I would have thought. Haha. <laughs> the love doesn't seem normal. Instead of his ball, it's clunky and rattles like a stone bones downstairs. Oh my fucking god, he's going berserk. Yes, please kill him, I beg of you. Maul him to death. Wow, Erwin, on you, it was tough with Erwin, isn't it? He continues to laugh as he puts his axes, still covered in blue, on his back and bows away. Excuse me, why haven't I punched Erwin yet? Didn't I tell you? You don't tell Kent about that. Making me have to do something as drastic as that to shove you up. We show you how drastic this shoves him up if anybody manages to shove him away. Don't look at me like that, that just... Oh my fucking god, that was the best thing ever! A sweet kiss! <laughs> you spoiled me, Maki! You spoiled me! Oh my fucking god! This is the best thing! Oh god, I can't breathe! Oh. <laughs> and deliver a swift kick to his groin! He crumbles over in pain! That's what you get for playing so dirty! God! <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm supposed to play dirty. You're a mayor. Maybe try acting like that instead. 
We continue to pick her while air green <laughs> rolls on the forest floor. That felt pretty good, kicking him, of course. I glance in the direction Kev had gone. <laughs> oh god, I am so happy that it happened, it isn't even a thing. I glance in the direction Ken had gone. I can't see him anymore, so I move quickly to follow after him. Eventually I catch up to him. He's still laughing. Normally when he laughs, he's cheerful and filled with such an overbearing optimist, I can't help but smile. But this is different. It's eerie. It's wrong. Are you saying he's ace lady? He's totally going berserk. Oh, he stopped. No, don't go back, damn it! He stops walking and I stumble to a stop as well, not expecting the sudden action. You like Erwin? What? Oh, he thought... No, not at all. I see, well, that's the shooting. What were we talking about for that? I don't remember. We were talking about Blake. But that didn't seem relevant at the moment. I know what I need to tell him, but fear is holding my lips hostage. That laughter, cold and haunting, is still circling in the back of my head. Who could the truth make him react? Has anyone talked to you about April before? I doubt it. We all tiptoe around at this carefully. Even dragging someone like you out here was just another way for us to avoid the truth that she's gone. That someone who meant so much to each of us was taken away. April was really great. She was brave and strong, but her hair was poor. She knew there was a time for fighting and a time for peace. If she had been here, she would have done the same thing you did and pick it going to the arm. Because she was different from the rest of them, she was magnificent. True, she was just as headstrong and unwillingly to toss herself into danger without thinking it through, but... He's obviously very frustrated, I can only guess, guy. Oh, oh my god, those are fighting wars, my lady. What are we at? He's at 15. Hmm. I want to say that, can I say that? We're at 50, let's see. Actually, oh my god, I halved his HP, yeah, fuck you, Erwin. Why do you have less MP? Under you? You love her? Oh, wow! <laughs> it climbed better up like no fuck. Let's talk somewhere else. He grabs my hand and starts to pull me forward. Oh, what? What's inside your pants? I'm up for that. I, s I swear to God, if you go berserk doing the thing, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and show bitch face something, okay? Just be careful. We will be. As he said he would, he pulls me ahead and drags me into an area where he pushes our dancer. There's a lock resting across the ground, long separated from his roots. He sits down and I sit down behind him. You're right, I did love her. The thing about her was amazing. She was brave and strong and she was always with Erwin, so I knew I wouldn't stand the chance. Honey, I can promise you, I will fucking fuck you over Erwin any day. Or this dancer always felt greater than that, even. Yeah, there was no way it would have worked. Because I was okay with that. From the look on his face, it is the way that he isn't okay with that as he climbs. His usual smile is drawn downward. I mean, he gets everything he wants. That's just what it means to be Erwin Gates. Bitch face, I'd rather he doesn't take you as well. I protested. Kissed early earlier, wasn't. No, I couldn't tell you. I could tell you didn't ask for that. I okay, I'll be frank, I like you. Holy fuck, we're already here. <laughs> Thank you, you game. <laughs> yeah, drop your trousers, honey. I will spread my legs. He grabs my hand slowly. The height gloves are warm to the touch and soft. Not bloody? I would assume they were sticky and bloody. I didn't expect you fucking too late, I already like you it. I don't expect you to like me back. I will understand if you don't, but I don't want to lose you to Erwin. That's selfish, but I'm tired of losing to him. I don't want to lose to him again. I can explain it, but I feel like he lost something more than just April to that man. He feels as if he has lost things. Something bigger, bigger than April, that's... All this is far to you, I know. I just want you to tell you how I feel. It alone. It's just me and him. Erwin can hear us. I need to tell him. These thoughts are rushing through my head, slowly and along the zone of my own heart beating. I almost don't catch the real meaning of the words he said to me. The words click into place and my entire face flushes red. How did I... Oh my fucking... <laughs> Just bend me over, you piece of shit! <laughs> did that embarrass you? How cute! He's giggling. Compared to the love from before, this one is much more comforting. 
I can have all my fucking. We're already here. Fuck yeah. I will straddle you and kill you to infinity. Don't fucking go away. You can have number two through infinity. I can have your first kiss, but maybe I could have your second. I'm nothing but. Uh. <laughs> but my face is burning so much. The action makes me lightheaded and almost dizzy. I can't remember what I was thinking about before now. We both seem hesitant, proceeding the reality of what she two footsteps agreed to. I can't really tell who lands in fist. Shhh! <laughs> the fox is there too! Oh god! This is so cute! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I need to tell him the truth. That thought roots through my head so strongly. Oh, he's even cooping her head! Oh god! So nice! That thought runs through my head strongly, but the feeling of his lips pressed against mine like his fingers weaving through my hair pushes the thought away. Okay. It can wait. Whatever is it I need to say so badly, it can wait. He stops kissing me only for a moment to whisper, Oh my fucking god! You fucking bitch! Do you want me to want me soon? Oh, oh, oh! He's going yambere! Oh, my fuck is this going to be a yambere because it will make me so happy. I love, I love yanderes when not talking to extremes. I won't let the others take you away from me. Started, I push him away before he can kiss me again. Ah, ah, when did we? Why were we? Hint is away with me on the lock. We were kissing. We were kissing. What? Wait, did that mean? I don't mean, but, um, did I say something I shouldn't? I'm at a loss for words. Even if my head wasn't reading in a million directions at once, I don't think I'd know how to answer that. You should probably not talk to someone like me, bitch face. I know it. there's something wrong and I can't control it. There's something bad in me. It, want, it wants to break out. You can break into me any day, baby. I can feel it pressing from the inside of my school all the time. Sorry, I wish I understood it better. Maybe I could. Grabbing his hand roughly, fuck yeah. Bend him over. I do my best to steady my mind. That's right, we're alone. I was going to tell him the truth. Oh my fucking god, you cock block! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm interrupting something. Yes! Piece of shit, go away! Isn't this a surprise? Which face for a real player, aren't you? You don't know half of it, baby. You're next! Don't worry, you're next! <laughs> Blake throws a shadow of red that rivals my own and looks away, looks back, and then looks away again. Kunz is staring at us, with a smile on his face. I let go of Ken's hands quickly. It's nothing, Blake. Did you need something? Gabby and the others were wondering where you went, that's all. I mean, I was wondering too, we were worried. I expected to find you would flatten and be another dragon, but I guess I got lucky. Guy, shut up! I'm going after you next! What's with this guy? Ah, I see. Let's go, bitch face. There's still a bit more of a journey ahead of us before we reach the arm. He stands from the log and clasps a hand of Blake's shoulders as he moves past. I'm having trouble standing from the log. Are you okay? You look kinda pale. Yeah, I was just ignored after I French at the guy. <laughs> With a note, I assure him I'm fine. Finally, but Lex responds to my demand and I'm able to stand. Lex goes ahead first, seeming dissatisfied that he didn't help up. Who lingers around until I walk past him? April wasn't able to tell him either. I spin on my heel and look at Gun, eyes wide with confusion. She was tied down with something I felt that her obligation to that was stronger, or different. Walks away. I had lost this chance, but there will be others. I won't fail again. I'll tell Ken the truth. After a couple more days, we finally reached the office of Utopia Makers. This is nothing like what I was expecting. Naturally, I thought that were, we were headed to a council hall style building, but instead, we we're fighting with a huge flag, stone wall, and a single door. There's a sign confirming that we reached the location where that we seek it, but that's it. Is it really the right place? Beyond that door is a hook twisting maze, bitch face. That's how the Um makes sure that only those who truly seek the peace can appear before them. Is that it? Sounds more like they have a lot of enemies to me. The last time we, can, we came here this took a while, didn't it? I know it took Dad and I a good long month or so to weave through it. Really? Who would have thought your dad would just smash his way in? 
That's not a brood, said they say you lose your favor with the woman if you don't complete the maze fairly. It's a test of patience, my dad wasn't happy about leaving the dog's legs outside, it was too warm there in there for them. Hmm. You don't have that kind of time, in a moment they will destroy the entire world. Why are you bouncing, Rachel? Don't bounce, is something good coming in? What fucking shit? Rip everyone in the street, stop it! If we're stuck inside this maze, we wouldn't even know it was happening. That's right, we wouldn't even get to hear the screams of other people as the world was... Dude, gone! Stop it! <laughs> we should have just went to hit billiards like I said in the first place. Come on guys, don't be that way. I'm sure we'll navigate this maze faster than that was able to. We have Erwin, he's smart, he will have no trouble getting through it. That walk is loose in, in a lot of cir cir bleh, circles, it will probably take Erwin like a week. As much as I'm flattered, doing a maze from the inside still sounds a bit... Might be fine, everyone! Ken's be beaming smile doesn't seem to be chanting anyone's opinion. A week? That was still enough time for an immediate threat to a lot of damage. If only we could jump over. I don't think that's possible. Hmm, Ken's right. It will be fine. Everyone, please stand back. Oh, not you, Ken. Come here for a minute. Piece of shit, what are you doing with my boyfriend? Came to bleak, and the two of them moved close to one of the maze walls. Everyone else backs up, myself included. The others seem to be bracing themselves for something. What? <laughs> my imagination isn't given up to see any time to think what over before Erwin gives Ken a hard kick in the back of his legs and then scurries off to the side as well. Ken's weapon comes out instinctively, swinging in as violent as a bling dark around him. The impact easily smash smashes the wall open. As quick as it began, Ken's berserk mode ended. It just starts up falling at the wall, pulling the balls and his axes in his hand. Ah! Was this trance here before? Good look, as good luck will have it, the wall sort of opened it up for us. How is that luck? The actual door is right there! It's a good look because it might mean there are other areas of the wall could have it while we're here. Maybe they can pay the maintenance will cost more. Let's go. Wait, taking advantage of this isn't right. Don't you go turning pessimistic of us now? They unlikely applied for this. You saw how real the threat was and they have proved a way for us to expedi expedite our journey through the maze. You didn't just finish telling us everything will be fine. That's true. You're right. This is just good luck and there's nothing wrong with accepting good luck. The maze will have been a big deal to a regular group of adventurers, but I have to remember that I'm dealing with world class. My tongue is evolving into a fucking twister. What the fuck? I can't read. Ugh. Of course, some mice can stand in the way in their way that easily. Still, even I can stand it when he does that. Huh? It's sick. Come on, we went over it. It's convenient. Imagine if we have to spend a week or a month in this place. What do you think, bitch face? Surely there's three sets of eyes turning toward me, questioning in eyes. What do I think? It's wrong, of course. Ken deserves to know the truth. I already knew your answer. That's why we're counting on you to change things. I'll be cheating on you, bitch face. What? No help? You fuckers. Go, Wallace. Exactly. You tell him. We continue on through the maze in this form. At first, an unaware Ken simply destroys any wall that stands as a dead end. Eventually, Erwin's frustration has us making a beeline towards the head of the maze. It takes Ken only a few so a few words to smash down on the walls standing in windows and the own building at the end. This was a lot more than I suspected from a hot building that houses the Utopia makers. Standing before us is a bed building made of polished white marble with many pillars reaching towards the sky. Intricate zings are carved across every intricate desserts. Yeah, I see the intricate desserts. <laughs> Sketchy zings. Pillars reaching towards the sky. Intricate desserts are carved on dragons, warriors, villagers, and Yoram of the world. All that stands between us now is a large flight of strength of stairs and an impressive archway that serves as a door. We're almost there and it hasn't even been a day. I guess it, it was right to trust you, as an I, Erwin? My stomach rolls at the mere thought. Of course, if you can trust your leader, who can you trust? <laughs> Gaby makes a fake poking sound behind me. I think I trust evil with my belongings before I trust our beloved leader. 
Oh my fucking god, he's going there. Yeah, go there, Kent. I love you when you're berserk. Don't be silly, Mataro. I was looking all through what's best for us, right, Erwin? Right, let's be off then. As a group, we cleaned the stairs and walked be be between the purely archway into the circular room that awaits us. Something isn't right. The room looks like an arena. There's no roof. We are standing at ground level and around, around us, raising upwards, are rows upon rows of benches, like the sort of spectators who sit well, watching a gladiator match. Those benches should all be filled with members of the um, but... What? What is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> is that a fucking pork chop over there? They are dead. Skeletons, nothing I can fix. Looks like it's been a while. Oh, put gun, you can't do your thing here. It reeks. What do we do? What is this? Look, it's a fucking pork chop! Oh my fucking god! We have to quickly. <laughs> Monkey says I was hungry when I threw that. To look at Ken, he says are white and terrified. Did I? Did I? And those dreams? Were they real? His entire body shaking, sweet bedding on his ghost white face. C calm down a moment. Oh, calm down. Right. I'm sorry, everyone. I guess the um doesn't exist anymore. Wow, that sure was a will goose chase with one of. That's my fault. We'll have to think of something different. Can l oh, my fucking god. He's losing it. He's losing it. Look at that smelly ass fucking. Yep, I'm a rape, you bitch. Prepare your hands. Wait a second, I'll be right back, I have to adjust the lights. Back. It's the same laugh from when the teeny dragon that attacked us in the forest, the rattling noise that comes from somewhere known, hallowed and dangerous. He is holding this axis. When did he draw us? Tell me, has the woman made any sort of actions in that and I come here? The others are taking a bath by the question before they stop to seriously consider it. There was that thing with the spring meadows a little while back. They were paying antagonists to fall cliffs, as I recall. That got sorted out. No, spring meadows and fall cliffs never mind the peaceful agreement. Winter Town destroyed Fall Cliffs on a raid. What? I never heard about that. It's true, I was there. Hmm, what about the Riverbank incident? Weren't they threatening to do something at the home stopping then? Right, we heard Riverbank was going to monopolize the global bank industry, going out. The hot Riverbank, the home wasn't involved in that at all. It took the position of Theos, it's that little game of theirs. I think I mentioned the UMO in the newspaper articles and interviews because it was good for my reputation, so... What about... It's a lie! It's all a lie! Ooh. He throws one of the axes and it smashes into the white marble piece, stand, sending bone and stone through, showering in a bunch of directions at once. Everyone else cringes. Can I destroyed the UMO with that? Didn't any of you tell me the truth? He runs towards us, it's burning another whirly red color. There are tears streaking down his face, clinging to the fur around his collar. The other axe is still in his hand. Look, we honestly don't know about this, okay? This is right, how cool and your fools have the... So mentioning the woman in your interview wasn't just, just another hook step and so I don't figure out the truth? No, that time it was... Every single day, all the time. Sorry, excuse me. I think my mother's coming in to tell me to shut the fuck up. Or not. No, she's going to the toilet, never mind. Still, I should keep my voice down, it's already half past twelve. Every single day, all the time. Al Alanio Fusco, do to you is lie to me. He points at it. Oh! <laughs> he points at each of them with his axe, stopping before he gets to me. After a short hesitation, he points at me as well. It's true, I had three to tell him, but in the end, all I did was follow the others. <laughs> oh, oh, is that a fucking bad end? Oops, oops. 
he's only lost one HP, are you kidding me? Why can't I love you? Don't kill me, please. A cloud descends up from above. It's massive, like a regular cloud that's pulsating with energy. Tiny balls of darkness shoot out from around it. Ooh, what's that? Powerful voice seeps into my head, searching for the looks on the other's faces. They can eat it, and can eat it as well. Foolish children. You think I would not find you here, clinging in the center of your own powerful um and beat face? He grabbed my head, pressing my head and my hands into my ears. So I went home to block out the sound. It's no use, however. The voice is external. It's something coming from within. I have waited to meet you. I am evil, and I will always find you. You only were meant to meet and become one. Leave these fools behind and join me. No, no. What is this? Shaking all over, hands pulling through my hair, my skin is turning pale, a strange tickling sensation crawling all over my body. It feels like something is trying to wake inside me. I don't want it. Squeeze my shut, shaking my head. Darkness leaves my mind, and frantically took out everything. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Someone is losing their shit. Erwin has dropped into his knees, his hands are tied to his head as mine were. Is he crying? I don't have time to focus on that. Gabby's entire body is alight with a soft glow, fire creeping across her sk skin, she stands dead fast. I bitch, I ain't got time for you. Blake is simply paralyzed with fear. Gun's hands are tight on his one, face set in stone. Evil is also communicating with him, he just no wavering his results. Fucking shit, Gun keeps being the most badass one so far. Kent? <laughs> you thought that something like you could poison something like me? I'm already poisoned, infected by a cheerful, completely optimistic self who can accept what I really am. Yeah, fuck off. I am already bad enough, I don't need you pussy. His eyes are red, the delta seeing that he switched into his berserker mode. The darkness lingers all over him, brushing up against his skin, but it can't seem to penetrate it. He screams and the shadows scurry away, almost intimidated. Yeah, fuck yeah, my boyfriend is more evil than you. <laughs> I call out to him, but he doesn't reply. Monster! His face wobbles for a single second, and in that time the shadows consume him. You're right. You weren't the one who wronged me. It was them. Gabby! Ah, I can hear you. Get up, Erwin. We're going to need you as your ass soon. <laughs> she gives him a sweet game with a look before switching her attention to her brother. Barley block now! It's moving on autopilot. Like, raises his gorgeous in time to block the flying axe with Ken. With Ken, this fast. <laughs> Fucking shit, things got dead, they cannot fuck with them. He dashes forward, grabbing the axe as he bounces backwards. He takes one foot into the ground and ready the other throw, aiming for Gabby. Gabby dodges in a spiral of fire, the axe skidding along the ground, halting on leads away from Erwin. The song of metal bending against the stone funeral pulls him out of his throws and he jumps to his feet. What's going on? You useless piece of shit! <laughs> Big trouble, Berserk Ken and Neville seem to have used. Fuck! That's my line! I guess I stole. <laughs> this is the cutest image ever, oh my fucking god! Look at those evil assays, I love you, darling! Take me with you! Even the fox is like, yep, I'm doing it too! Ken is dead, hand on Falnaxi, only inches from Edwin. Damn it, give me that! Gabby snatches Black's sword after infusing it with ice, hurls it between Erwin and Ken just in time to block the attack. Erwin takes that moment to scramble away to Gun's side. Come on, get yourself hurt already! <laughs> no, I don't avoid that, thank you! Dragon, the inevitable only one, I understand exactly what what and why I'm no, I'm Ken Kensel, son of the Warrior Kent of Wintertown. Slaughter are conqueror of money. Oops, what was that? What are you doing, hon? He yanks his second axle from under the wall. From under the wall. It was so thoughtful of you to ask the second one for me. Keep me trapped in this pathetic form. I wish we had a lot of fun together, but that's enough of that. I think of a plan and think of one faster win. Trying to, but the only answer I keep coming up with is we have to kill him. What? Why? Fucking just kiss, just kiss him! You're like, what's the problem? Just say, yeah, look at my boobies, I love you, darling, even if you're evil. 
my head stops. Right. Don't be so melodramatic, I can bring him back. That's too dangerous. What if he comes back and this is the same as this? If I already considered that option, who in your defense hit? If the first one he'd take out in that situation. And if you die, the rest of us are dead. As good as dead. This sucks. Is that it? Yes. As obvious I won't let that happen. Go and keep Gabs and Blake alive. Of course. I don't really want to, but are you already, Blackie? Aye. You wanna prove you're a hero, then you have to. Let's break this shit. You can't break. What, chicken do I do? What happened to being out of fire? <laughs> you have his arrows burst into bl ah, blue flame. Never mind then. And she charges forward. Ken and her are heavily matched in speed. Her lift body bending out of the way of his as his the Indra worst action narrator ever. <laughs> that swings that could the flam her flam short. Blake moves next, his armor rattling and giving away his own self thought. This can't be the only way. Gabi miscalculates the move in order to defend Blake, a large cut rippling through her arm. She grits her teeth, not bothering to scream. The one is it quickly. The canary wound tag chanting under his breath. Hey, my lady. Erwin is beside me. I don't notice him play from one side. I already know this whole thing is my, it's my fault. I want to save him, don't you? My eyes are wide as I stare at him in confusion. You think he's just say killing him is the only way? Just admit it. You and I both know that this is the real Ken. You all know, real Ken is that loud and smelling idiot who doesn't fully understand his own powers. So when his wings pop tax it to so but There's an opening behind him. Blake's not smart enough to take advantage of him. You can see an opening he's talking about from the stands easily, but what does he want me to do about it? You wanted to tell him, don't you? So get in there and tell him. Yeah, if you die we'll bring you back, don't worry. My shell drops in disbelief. He's suggesting I just walk over there and stand behind Kent and just say something? Will that even work? It's ridiculous. Yes, it's pretty risky. Eventually, Abby will tell Blake to take advantage of the opening. I told them the, the only way to win is to kill him, but I say that just so they wouldn't fight at the hate of their abilities. If we take too long, they will kill him. Actually, wait. Um, keep the please. You're being a bit loud. But they couldn't have them knowing about the eyes we have up your sleeve. Yo, me still? If it's the one right that in there and tell him it won't mean anything. Not at this point. We've lived to him for so long. But they say that moment he hesitated to point at you. It was a real can't. He still trusts you, even like this. Yeah, what one week can do to a relationship. <laughs> he grips my shoulder tightly and then pushes me forward. Yeah, go die. It's either that or he dies, or you die. Ted says I begin to walk towards Ken, carefully hugging the outside of the arena. Watching the three fighters move, I start to see their patterns are rinsed clearly. Ken, play, Gabby, Ken, the opening. 1, 3, 2, 4, open. 1, 3, 2, 4, open. 1, 2, 3, 4, open! My feet push forward on that moment. And at the last of what else to do, I grab Ken from behind, wrapping my arms tightly around him. I cry out to him, doing my best to remind him of the release. My head starts to buzz. You will that interfere? Be gone, you are nothing but the best. Evil, I ignore the voice, pressing my head against the rough leather armor of Ken's back. His tense muscles are starting to loosen. The battle has stopped it, it's baby. And blah blah blah, yeah, that. Ken sucks uselessly. It face. <laughs> I can feel the tears streaming down my face as I tell him to come back to us. This is Ken here, and this isn't the real Ken. He can try to convince us that he is, but he isn't. The real Ken smiles and laughs. The real can loves peace and is kind. Not this. I hold him tighter, my pleas is starting to stick in my throat. The sound of metal hissing stone and I open my eyes. Ken has dropped his axes to the ground. What is it? What is that? Ah, that's so cute. Don't cry, baby, I will make it all go well. I will marry you and we have lots of kids. His hand grants mine, holding me in place. What am I doing? I explain it to him, all of it. I don't leave any detail that I know of. She listens, not saying a word. None of the others interrupt. Gabby and Blake have moved away from us, but everyone is watching. If I fail here, I will be the first star who is known to save me. 
The grip on his hand on mine fluctuates between gently hold and rough squeezing as he's progress with himself. Even when it feels like he could break my bones, I refuse to let go. I trust him. Kale will... Ken will... Oh, God. <laughs> will never hurt me or anyone else. That can is still in there. He starts to tremble and lets out a small noise that only half sounds like a laugh. He looks around the room. So I did all this? I'm the monster that destroyed this place? I killed all these people? I repeat it again, telling him the truth that he himself told us only a short while ago. This I always knew, but I wanted to forget all of this. Thank you. I can feel drops of water hitting my hands. He's crying. Yeah, no shit. Ken turns, grabbing me into a full hug. I knew that something wasn't right, but everyone kept saying things were fine. I, I can't believe I was going to hurt everyone. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I scared you, bitch face, but I'm so proud of you for being brave enough to stop me. I can probably thank you enough. What? No more yandere? Bring back the yandere! I like the yandere! Be possessive, damn you, I like that sort of thing again. The fear that I was keeping as hidden as possible fights away along with the intense hour of Kent's berserker side. Once again, Kent is the person I know him to be. He's young, his thank you straight love as he turns to face the others. Erwin, yes! Kent Bendona picks up his axes, causing Erwin to flinch not the ACR. I want to step away, but I don't. Kent is not a bad person, he will never hold his friends. That is what I believe. What do you have to say for yourself? Points on action Erwin, eyes narrowing and face going stern. I listen, Kent, I'm certainly done something terrible, but maybe we can understand why I did it. And I don't know about the one thing at all and can laugh so bright, some cheerful laugh. Bitch face, you aren't kid, right? This is me and the other me. Neither of those is the real me when than the other. We're both Kent Kenson. Nothing is going to change that, even if I don't like it. Just like it doesn't change the things you've done, Erwin. Erwin, who was still rambling out his own defense, stopped short. He bites his lips, focusing on the access tips. Is he doing things like way to get out of this? No, he was saying it already. Ken straps both his access to his bags and steps forward, sticking out his hand and said, You would think the peaceful action is best when possible, and neither one of us likes hurting our friends. Erwin stares at the hand, mostly confused, before finally called to accepts and shaking. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Ken motions for me to come over and drops an arm over my shoulder when I'm beside him again. Isn't this wonderful, but aren't you forgetting something? The air is cold and sharp, and above us the dark glow of evil is shifting. Right, but it's not over yet. Well then, we have an enemy to destroy, don't- Oh my fucking god! <laughs> That's right, that black shadow tree to make us pull at each other senselessly, it's time we take it down. Maybe this will do some real damage. Gun, <laughs> not the place, dude! <laughs> Group looks towards at the mass of darkness. There's an energy built wind them that's new and fresh, nothing like the ever growing content that was forming before. Bitch face called the stand somewhere else. Nothing short shortly, step off to the side. Ken pulls his axes from his back once more and locks his closes his eyes for concentration. <laughs> Fox is going fucking insane over there. Part of me is still a part of me. Maybe now that the two of us but know each other, we can fight together? He opens his eyes again. The determination there is confident and dangerous. A smirk plays across his face. Sexy Kent, I approve! <laughs> With Kent as the lead and Gabby and Blake in tow, the three of us charge up to the benches to gain hate. Erwin and Gunn stay back, ready to support the team from the sideline. Their battle against evil begins. It ends with victory. W wow, that's it? Okay. <laughs> We fought a cloud and we won! It totally... what? Rained? I don't know. Well, it was a bit anticlimactic, but honestly I didn't care about this evil fellow, so fuck it. After defeating evil, we returned to Castle City and reported to the king. I have to stand in for April again, lest the senile or fourth thing thought she's gone. The king is so excited that he gives the just for two kisses on the head. I think we will take two showers to compensate. Once the formal meeting has ended, I exit the hallway alone, everyone else having gone their separate ways. Apparently that's normal for them. Once they finish their quest, they part from each other until they are needed again. They'll have lights outside of being heroes. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> is that a fucking... what? A popsicle? Popsi popsicle hedges. Polka popsicles. 
I feel myself standing in the castle courtyard. I was looking for the exit back to town, but I guess I took a wrong turn. Flowers here smell strongly sweet in the summer air, breeze making them pop peacefully and carrying the aroma all around. The grass is freshly cut, adding another layer to the pleasant smell. I'm not alone, someone else is here. Of course. Beach face, I was hoping if I waited here I'd catch you on the way out. I guess now that, now that you're done standing in for April, you will be headed off to school and stuff, right? That's right, wait a second. Now that your adventure's over, my life has to return to normal. I have more than enough money to finish out of my school. That was only for a short time, but it was going to be strange to leave everyone at that life still behind. Your school is pretty fun, you will like it, and then when you're done, you will be able to go on more adventures. He runs a hand through his hair while he starts at the flowers. You can even go on some adventures together. Blush more, bitch, blush more. I start to laugh, but a silly thing to say. Rather than answer to his also subtle question, I snatch both, both his hands in mine and kiss him lightly on the cheek. He grins. <laughs> Face. Thank you again for being so honest with me and for trusting where I really am. You are so brave. No go berserker than me, you piece of shit. Hey, look at her, Foxy, you... Smoke, smack your mouth in that nose, bitch. He runs... <laughs> I don't think I can narrate it, it's too embarrassing. He runs a hand on my cheek and then leans over, kissing me this time. Fit. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Out of the... Oh, let me check that. Bonus. Is it? Out of one to out of six CGs, two of them are of kissing. I approve. <laughs> I approve. I like the kissing. Look at this fucking bitch. Sexy bitch. Um, what can I say about this? I won't give a summary of the game now because we still have other routes to go. But I like it. The bit it wasn't a bit longer. I wanted more yandere. I will admit. I like Yandere. Possessive Yandere shit, I like it, I admit it. I am a fucking 15 year old girl, yes, I admit it. Ow. But I like it, the root. I mean, I assume it's not going to be my favorite because I have high hopes for what's his face. For heroines and guns. But we're starting. The button. Do you want me to play it? Okay, um. How do I play the bad ending? Uh, if I just go from... <sighs> uh, so, how do I... Actually, let me just go back to the beginning and just... Well, not. What do I pick? Um, you look it up to her. 60. What about the other one? Fifty. This one is less. Let's start somewhere else. Press the skip button. Skip. If she understood that she never admitted it. I know there's something in the others kept from me, but and she, and she was no different. It's because of that that I could never admit my true feelings to her or anyone else. She was, uh, she was so amazing in everything she did. I admitted her. No, I loved her. But she loved Erwin. I knew that. I knew it was okay with it. From the look on his face, it's just to guess he isn't as okay with that as he claims. He's all smile is round on. Is this okay now? There we go. Ah, so the kiss happened anyway. Nice. It pushed me to. Uh... Okay, so she wraps her arms with back to where she grabs her arms on him. My head starts to buzz. You will not interfere? Do you think so highly of yourself? Foolish. Evil. I ignore the voice, reassuring my head against the rough leather armor on Ken's back. His tense muscles start to loosen. He straightens his back and throws me off. Oh. 
you think you're doing? This is who I truly am. Thanks for the distraction. Distraction? Why no? Gabby makes a star motion in the air, then another. Two shining bars of magic, one of fire and one of light, collide together in a colorful array and fix it towards Ken. No, this isn't right. The human means and something that ever makes sense. What is rushing through my head now as my legs quickly pull me back and propel forwards. What am I thinking as I crash myself into Ken, pushing him out of the way of the attack? I want to save him. Rush of energy flares through my entire body. It's hot. I just went fried chicken. <laughs> what did you just do? No, oh, this isn't... He in the ground roughly at Ken's feet. He starts down at me, face slowly melting from anger and will panic. Ah! <laughs> fast, so fast. Faster than before. He returns to his deadly combat with the big plate and Gabby. He's overpowered at the maze in time. Relaxing sensation is <laughs> finally healed me, fine. Relaxing sensation is pulling over my body. Boon's magic. He helps me just enough that I can sit out before turning his magic back to Gabe and Blake. I had to file it, then that means they are going to kill him. However, at this rate, with Ken's increased speed, they might have picked their own spirit. Why will you hurt her? I didn't mean... Ken, please stop this, we're sorry, okay? Follow his no will save nothing. He throws his axe at source past Gabby and Blake. Miss it completely after seeing such a cool line. No, you're a down axe. No, you're a down axe too. It wasn't, wasn't it? Oh god. It's wrong, this is all wrong. The sound of the axe as it hits its true target is louder than it should have been. But it was like, uh, what? But it was like, the only stop and it was the only sound in the entire world. Crunching one. He fucking killed the goon. I, I'm calling it. Goon's body drops to the ground. Ding ding ding. Where's my prize? Everything is still. No one can speak. There's this thing at my eyes. What? Why him? Why? Why is any of this happening? The only sound that breaks the silence is Ken's own scream. My body grows cold. His scream is a mix of anguish, horror, joy, and power. He screams again. I can feel the body blood in my body slow. My stomach rolls. <laughs> Everyone losing their good damn shit. Don't just stand there! Kill him! Gabby and Blake both snap back into action. The wheels of time green furiously as reality catches up with itself. The two Ember siblings aren't fighting as powerfully as before, Griff pulling at their moments like a sludge. This is it. We're all going to die. I don't want to agree with him, but... Gabby's eye shield goes up a second too slow. Only a handful of seconds separate the moment Ken sucks a rip through Blake's armor and magic. Cover my eyes, but even the sound of the axe prying through the joints of the armor is enough for my imagination to feel the pictures I'm trying to hide from. When I open my eyes, Blake is laying on the ground. Blood is everywhere. I can only vomit. I can stop. Was it all really my fault? Not really. Blake overtakes Gavi and her fine tuned placement of spells falls apart. Soon she's, li she's lying on the ground next to her brother, choking on her own blood. It is a cruelty on pity when close. Oh my fucking god, this got hardcore all of a sudden! Is it cruel to your pity when Kent drops this accent to her back ending her life? Does it even matter at this point? Who wins next? Save you! Oh, actually, oh, they're all fucking dead! Saving you for last, was it fun watching the consequence of your own selfish personality unfold before you? I. Don't even trip back and forth for forgiveness or pretending this is a new fault. Even sending bitch face to stop me was her plan, wasn't it? Oh, Erwin is... Oh, was Erwin just trying to sacrifice me? I won't accept this any longer. You're no longer... You're no different from my dad. I remember it now. I remember it so clearly. The day dad came. And I come to the womb. They had refused dad's request. Every single one. He was furious. He told them they needed to accept it or they dad would they be dead. Of course my father would have done it easily, but he had me do it. I tore this entire place apart, one by one. Every person who had defeated my dad fell. Just like each of you, the people who continue to take advantage of the pit people all sides of me, falling. Oh, 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 creepy as fuck, I approve. As he speaks, he walks towards the twin. His axe is dragging across the stone floor, scrapping a long groove of nip. The noise it makes is high pitched and together with the smell of death and betrayal it makes me dizzy. I do my best not to vomit again. <laughs> Once he comes face to face with Erwin, Erwin drops to his knees. 
end it then. Of course, I'm not so cruel that make you live forever with this. He yams the second axe from Gun's corpse and then brings both blade down. Once, twice. Third time, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth. He doesn't stop. He screams, holy shit. He suddenly will become a mini peamer. Fucking blended. He screams louder and louder with each movement. I can't even close my eyes to this horrifying scene. I've lost count of how many times it has been now, but Ken finally drops both his axes to the ground beside him. He stumbles backwards. Be yandere to me, you fucker. No, no, don't go back to normal. Stay in yandere. What? No? This is Edge Corpse. No, no! I can't have done this. I didn't do this. I stand on my feet slowly. He looks at me, expression weird with fear and defeat. Did I do this? I not. This time Ken knows the truth. This is not only now I can tell him. He starts to laugh. I know that laugh. It rings across the Rennie Shepherd building on the top of my makers and hangs in the air. There! The dark presence is gone. Evil has, gone, do, has done what it needed and left. Ken pings up his axe. Was he going to kill me too now? I lower my head. Bitch face, come on. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Yandere is back! Yeah, take me in your arms, Yandere! Hey look, it's him. We call him Ken. It's still Ken, isn't it? He works towards me and pulls me to my feet. They can no longer hurt me, him on me. Let's go. We need to find able together and stop it. If I are, will I end up like the others? It's better to do that than die here. It's just you and me now. Whoa -ho -ho. Bend over, bitch face. <laughs> he hurts me tightly. The blood that soaks his clothing seeps into mine. I know I'm crying, but he doesn't seem to care. Of course not, he's a proper yander. <laughs> That's the yander kicker. You're mine and only mine now. I won't let everything have you, or even that other part of me. He's gone forever. I'm too scared, Warwick. <laughs> it was satisfying. I would have liked it, I admit I am a complete fucking sucker for what it's called. I am a complete sucker for Yanderes in their positive vibe. Not so much for the gore side, but you know, I will take what I can. It was almost <laughs> it was almost more interesting than the fucking true ending, I have to admit. Kent Kenson. I like it your Yandere side almost more. It's a pity that everyone ended up dead, but you know. What else do we have here? Yeah, please. Wait. <laughs> Look at the fucking fox! Why why can I date the fox? Let me date the fucking fox. Anyway, that was Ken's route, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be my favorite because Goon is screaming to be played. We're going to make his next tomorrow. It's already 1 a.m. So if I keep reading at this time, both my boys and my neighbors are going to kill me. Wow! <laughs> so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that was Kent Kenson, son of Ken, son of Bada, son of Yandere. I wish there was more Yandere side, I admit it fully. I'm a fucking sucker for that. But next we will go to. What's his face? Ah, shit. I click what it was in there. Next we will go on to Gunther. Or Gun. What's his name? Gun. Gun Rose. Fucking gore ass lobby idiot. <laughs> Anyway, that was all for today. It's been two hours, two hours per route. It's not bad. And that's it. I will I will be being streaming this tomorrow. I will probably try to do two full routes. I will try to do Gun. Um, if not Erwin, then maybe Blake. I'm not sure. We will see. I will try to get them done pretty quickly. But because I want to play. And I want you guys to see it. Anyway, I'm going to close here now. Thanks for watching everyone. I will be back tomorrow. See you.